Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the horseshoe kidney. The kidney are two bean shaped structure. Sometimes the lower pole of the kidneys fuse together and gives a horseshoe shaped appearance. It is called horseshoe kidney. The primordial permanent kidneys, that is the metanephros, lie close to each other at the vertebral level S1 and S2, on the pelvic surface of the S1 and S2. The definitive kidney lie at the vertebral level of T12 to L3. This happens due to ascent of the kidney. Why there is ascent of the kidney? Kidney initially a pelvic organ. Kidneys are pelvic organs. They ascend to the posterior abdominal wall at the level between T12 and L3. This happens due to differential growth of the pelvic and lower lumbar region in the beginning of the fetal period at the end of the embryonic period diminution of body curvature of the developing fetus and also by the forking effects of the umbilical artery so these are the causes or this is the possible mechanism of ascent of the kidneys from the pelvic region to posterior abdominal wall and kidney kidneys become the retroperitoneal structure during ascent the lower pole of the kidneys lower poles of the kidneys fuse may fuse together forming an isthmus and a horseshoe shaped or u-shaped renal mass this ascent of horseshoe kidney the ascent of hor ascent of horseshoe kidney is often arrested by inferior mesenteric arteries around 60 to 70 percent cases incidence of horseshoe kidney is one in 500 so this is the u-shaped horseshoe kidney the lower pole of this kidney is united with the lower pole of that kidney. Okay, this is the right kidney, this is the left kidney, this is the ureter, this is the ureter, this is the pelvic junction, pelvic junction of the ureter. This is the abdominal aorta, inferior vena cava. The horseshoe kidney is blocked by the inferior mesenteric artery this is inferior mesenteric artery this is superior mesenteric artery so the isthmus area is blocked around 60 to 70 percent cases by the inferior mesenteric artery okay this is this image has been taken from radiopedia.org okay this is another ct scan has been taken from wikimedia common this is the horseshoe kidney this is ct scan of wikimedia this is horseshoe kidney so what are the causes of horseshoe kidney cause of horseshoe kidney is not known it may be multifactorial it may be environmental or possible exposure of the fetus to some type of teratogenic object like drug alcohol like that but the exact cause is not known horseshoe kidney may be associated with the following like turner syndrome that is chromosome number 45 x0 trisomy 18 okay edward syndrome trisomy 13 petua syndrome down syndrome trisomy 22 okay 
Fanconi's anemia, vectoral vertebral anomaly, anal canal anomaly, colorectal anomaly, tracheoesophageal anomaly, renal anomaly, and limb anomaly. Okay, so this is association of multiple anomaly. This may be associated with horseshoe kidney also. Not always, but sometimes. So, vertebral, anal, colon problem, tracheoesophageal problem, problem, renal problem, developmental problem, and limb problem. There is the, that all of them are developmental problem may come together. A horseshoe kidney is usually asymptomatic. Rare complications include recurrent UTI, renal stone at the pelvic urotary junction or maybe any other place, hydronephrosis because of obstruction of flow of urine, polycystic kidney that may be related to that or it may be a separate entity. Wim's tumor or the childhood kidney tumor, hypernephroma or adult kidney tumor. These are all, both of them are cancer, malignant tumor of the child, of the child's kidney. This is the malignant tumor of the adult kidney. Okay. Diagnosis, how can we diagnose horseshoe kidney? By renal ultrasonography, intravenous Pylography, voiding cystoerythrogram VCUG, okay. CT scan, computerized axial tomography, MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, treatment. It don't need treatment if there is no symptom. Person can have normal lifespan with horseshoe kidney. It may be totally asymptomatic. If it is symptomatic and complication, we may give treatment accordingly. In case of infection antibiotic, if there is an obstruction, then surgery is the answer, depending on the situation. And that's all about the horseshoe kidney. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice wonderful and blessed day bye now